Okay, this is a tutorial about the new sample filters. We start with a sample editor and a new demo sample. All filters should be used in 16-bit for optimal results. We use a sample of 128 bytes in size and we fill it with a generated triangle wave. This triangle wave can be used as a sample, but with a couple of filters we can make it way more awesome. Ideally, we would have to have some sort of guitar or bass sound. So we need an envelope that has a tech and decay. Again, 16 bit. We start a sample with a good length for text, 16 gb. And here we simply draw our envelope. We start with a generated one. Again, triangle, but only 0 0.2. And we want that to decay, so we make it backwards. We normalize it. And then we have it go down from around 75% volume. This is our decay. For the attack, we simply draw, and that will look something like this. A little bit of overshoot, and this will do. Now, let's clean it up a little bit. As you can see, this is not exactly smooth, so we make this smoother. is not liking me today. We don't want these sharp edges. So, this should do. Ah, doesn't look perfect yet. This is good. This will be the envelope for our sample. So in first step, we could simply copy the sample, make another sample with 16 kilobyte, and then we can use the frequency or the face modulate feature to just repeat that sample this point we could apply the envelope, we copy it and then we can use amplitude modulate to apply the envelope. However, this is still very sterile. So I'll show you something cooler. We again Start with the envelope. We paste this here. And then we copy again our sample. Now, if we were to use the frequency modulate filter, then the sample would follow the frequency given by the amplitude. So high pitch in the left and back to regular pitch at the end. This 
This sounds interesting, but this is not what we want. Instead, we want a distortion energy pattern to follow the envelope. So we do the other filter, use face modulate. If you look at this in detail, you can see that where the envelope is high, the upper half wave gets shortened a lot and then gets back to normal. Now, after we did that, we again use our envelope. And now we apply the amplitude modulation. So we now have a phase shift and uh, amplitude decay. This is significantly better, but the sound needs more depth. And for that, we use the new flanger filter. The flanger, I might demonstrate that separately, works like this. So again, 16 kilobyte, we copy our wave that's the wrong sample so if you simply use frequency modulate we end up with a long sample and now we make another sample again 16 bit which will be another envelope which is used for the flanger. So if we simply copy a zero signal and apply it to the flanger, nothing happens. What the flanger does is it mixes the signal with a phase shifted signal and the envelope describes by how much the signal is phase shifted. So zero signal, just overlays the signal with, it, with itself and that has no effect. Now if we take our envelope and shift that with a DC shift, for example plus 10, redo filter, copy, now we can again apply this. And as you saw, this changes the frequency arrangement, but it is still very static. So basically it turned the sawtooth into a, uh, the triangle wave into a mix of triangle and squares. We undo this and try a ramp instead. In this case we use a generator, again a triangle, and let's try that. A flanger effect, and this is more what you expect from a flanger. We can try it even steeper by simply improving the, the volume. We undo flanger. Now our base signal that we use to apply the flanger to has uh, not many different frequencies. So Instead, we might want to apply this to this one. Flanger. This is already better. But we can do even better if we use the same envelope that we used for the attack 
can decay and for the wave distortion also for the flanger so we copy the envelope and run the flanger as you can hear it doesn't really sound good it's a little bit too much so what we simply do here is we reduce the volume let's say 75 percent and again and again that looks good draw copy without flanger with flanger that might have been too little let's try it again using the gold sawtooth and reducing the volume on that and let's apply another flanger effect the more flanger effects you apply to the same sample the better it gets Now, as you can see, some of our filters added a little bit of a DC offset, but the DC offset follows our envelope. So we use the same envelope yet again. We reduce it a little bit, copy. And in this case, we use mix. And that almost did it. No, let's use that much. Perfect. Now we can normalize that a bit. And now we can play. Uh, we should probably copy this center sample to slot zero. And then we play. this concludes our tutorial.